Manchester United had a whirlwind and roller coaster 2018 that started with Jose Mourinho getting a new contract and ended with Jose Mourinho being sacked and Man United hiring Ole Gunnar Solskjaer as our caretaker manager between now and the end of the season. What a mad 12 months it really has been for Manchester United, largely for the wrong reasons, unfortunately. Now, I covered all of that in my year review that was released on the 24th of December, so make sure you go and check that out. But this video is looking ahead to 2019 and that season as a whole. What are Man United fans' hopes and expectations going into 2019 and for the 2019-20 season? Now, before we get into the video, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe down there, hit that notification bell as well, and get involved in the channel. But let's get straight into it. Now, my first hope and expectation for Manchester United still remains the same, that the club properly modernises and catches up with the likes of Man City and Liverpool. Because it doesn't really matter who follows Ole Gunnar Solskjaer as caretaker manager in the summer. If United don't have the right structures in place at the club, that manager will fail. Two years down the line, we'll be having the same conversations about that manager and his failed term at Manchester United and we'll bring someone else in and we'll repeat that cycle. Now, the good thing is, is it looks like United really have taken a step in that direction, not only by sacking Mourinho and bringing Solskjaer in, but it feels like that's accelerated the process. We're seeing lots of stories coming out from established journalists about Man United hiring a technical director into the club, modernising the strategy, refining that vision. And if we do all of that, then Man United will be in a very strong position in the summer to get the manager they want, hopefully Mauricio Pochettino, but I really don't think he'll leave Spurs. And moving forward, because six years after Fergie, we find ourselves in a massive mess to the point we've had to bring in his former assistant manager and one of his best former players to try and regalvanise Manchester United. That was a desperate situation, but hopefully something positive will come out of it between now and the end of the season and the first five months of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's reign. But it doesn't really matter what Solskjaer does, as I said, unless Man United properly rethink everything they're doing at the club. That means not Ed Woodward being in control of the footballing decisions. We need a football man in control of the football decisions at United. He's a great financial accountant. He's great in a commercial sense, but Ed Woodward should be nowhere near any footballing decisions. And I think United are taking steps towards doing that. And United, we need to stop focusing purely on profit because if, unless we do, then the overarching reason that we make decisions will always be the profit about it. Now, United didn't do that with Mourinho because it would have been cheaper to sack him at the end of the season. We sacked him earlier and we cost ourselves more money because it ties better into the vision of the club. That's the right sort of decision. Unfortunately, with the Glazers in charge, maybe, sorry, with the Glazers owning Manchester United, maybe that, that would never change and the profit will always be the number one priority at United. But I'm just hoping that what I've seen from Mourinho and United acting decisively, that things are starting to change. And if we do modernise properly, I think we'll be in a great position moving ahead from summer 2019. And of course, I think that's very obvious that United need to get right in 2019. We need to hire the right manager. We've gone from David Moyes, who was hired on the recommendation of Sir Alex Ferguson without interview. A catastrophe. In seven months, he helped destroy what it took Fergie 20 plus years to create. Then we went for Louis van Gaal, who on paper was a good choice. A strong established manager, great credentials, had just taken Netherlands to third in the World Cup. It was a good feeling, but he was too outdated. It didn't work. He was boring to watch and that went against United's principles. So then after those two managers, we went to Jose Mourinho. We got in bed with the devil. We knew what we were getting into, but in the first season, we won two trophies. He was helping re-establish United as the identity of winners, which was important. But then the second season happened, we fell second behind an anomaly man City, and the third season happened. Ed Woodward decided not to back Mourinho's transfers, Mourinho was undermined in the summer, and all we saw was chaos until he was sacked in December. And then we moved to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. A last ditch attempt from United between now and the end of the season to re-establish and regalvanise the club and the club's identity and refine that vision. That was a smart move, but United absolutely have to get this next managerial appointment right, because we get it wrong, I hate to think what kind of spiral we're gonna to continue to go down in. This appointment is just as important as replacing Fergie. It really, really is, because replacing Fergie was the hardest job in football, but we fucked up majorly by going Moyes. Between now and the end of the year, we've got five months to interview 
the right people, to make sure that the right person comes in and is tied into a vision at the club. Get that right, modernise the club as well, then 2019-20 can be a whole different looking year for United. So if the club modernises the structure behind the scenes and gets the right manager in, the third thing we need to do is make sure this squad is fit to win the Premier League. You know, I don't want to see Ashley Young starting for Manchester United anymore next season, nor Chris Smalling, nor Matteo Darmian, nor Phil Jones, nor Antonio Valencia. United need to move on. Just like Pep Guardiola did at Man City, he was ruthless when he went in there. He got rid of the players he didn't want and he brought in the exact players he wanted to tie into his vision. Now, I don't think United had that vision under Mourinho, so the transfer window was always going to be a mess and recruitment massively has to improve as well. But just getting rid of the players in this squad that aren't fit enough to wear the Manchester United shirt is a majorly important step in United re-establishing themselves in the 2019-20 season as contenders. If we don't, we're always going to have weak points. Like Liverpool did before they replaced Mignolet, now they've got Alisson. They've got Van Dijk in at centre-back. Two of their key problems they solved. The United's problems are obvious, but we need to make sure they're solved in the summer for us to have any hopes going into the 2019-20 season. And something I really want to see going into the next year as well is more academy players coming through. You look you look at Mason Greenwood, who's tearing it up with the under-19s, under-18s. He's smashing goals in left, right and centre. He's a real prospect, just like Marcus Rashford was before he came through. I want to see Greenwood given an opportunity. Angel Gomez has already made his debut for the first team. He's a superstar in the making. And Tahith Chong, three players who really stand out. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer being in charge is going to be perfect for them. You know, he had a history at Molde of bringing through the youth players putting the faith in the youth and he's had 12 years under Sir Alex Ferguson. He knows all about the benefits that you can get from recruiting from within. So I think it's going to be a very exciting 2019 for United in terms of what we're going to see from academy graduates. Because I remember the impact that Rashford had on that, on that Louis van Gaal side. It was desperate times. Martial was injured in the warm-up against Midtjylland. You're thinking, oh, we're screwed. Rashford came in, banged in two against Midtjylland, banged in two against Arsenal and went on a massive upward trajectory and is still one of the United's most important attackers at the club. And it means so much more that he's from Manchester, he's from our academy. Because playing for United is a little bit more important to him than somebody who's just brought into the club to play for the club. And I want to see the likes of Gomez, Greenwood, Chong and so many others give an opportunity to our Solskjaer and I think he really will give them to him. And all of that combined there's one important thing that actually has to happen properly under Solskjaer and I think it's the most important thing for him to achieve in his six months as caretaker manager and that's re-establishing United as United, making United look like United again. Maybe that's players going to away games in suits and ties, maybe that's just the structure and the management of his press conferences, how he approaches, how he says things. United need to look like United again because we have become a laughing stock. Just like Arsenal were under Wenger towards the end. They were a laughing stock. That's United at the moment. But Solskjaer has the ability, I think, to change that image, to re-establish and galvanise United as United again. And if he can do that properly, then I feel he would have succeeded as caretaker manager, regardless of what the results are. But if you establish United properly in the image of United again, then the results will come on the pitch as well. So it's a very exciting 2019 coming up for United at least under Solskjaer and whatever follows next in the summer with the next manager. But looking past the good feeling that Solskjaer is going to bring into the club, there's still a hell of a lot that United need to achieve in 2019 for success to be able to follow. That modernisation absolutely has to happen. Without that, United will never win the Premier League again. And I think it will happen, you know, United have made the decision to get rid of Mourinho and bring Solskjaer in, that's a big step and I think they're going to be doing more steps towards modernising the club properly from within. The whole structure has to change and I think it will. Bringing that next manager in needs to happen correctly. Doesn't matter who it is, whether it's Pochettino, whether it's Zidane, whoever it is has to be the right man for the right reasons. Because get this appointment wrong, I think we've really, are gone, we've really gone down that Liverpool route of succeeding and smashing through the 90s and 2000s and taking a huge nosedive and they still haven't won the Premier League and United get this appointment wrong, I fear for what follows next. But let me know what your hopes and expectations are for 2019 and the 2019-20 season. 
If you haven't seen it already, check out my review of 2018 and what a mad year that was from Mourinho getting a new contract to Mourinho being sacked to Solskjaer being manager. Mad times for United. But 2019 should be a very positive year, certainly in comparison to 2018 for United. But what are your hopes and expectations? Let me know in the comments below, as always. And if you're new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe.